Good morning, Erin. So I got a lot going on behind me, so uh, I keep on turning my head just to make sure no one is running into me. But this is a huge amount of people that we have um, out here this morning for our morning show. So thank you so much to the head coach. We wanted to show you how much passion the CSUB men's wrestling team has because this entire time we were on our break uh, before coming to the segment, they kept on wrestling. They kept it going. They're literally having a coaching session session this morning while we're here. So I'm seeing all these guys get twisted like pretzels. Looks like there's time massage going on in here. Their legs are stretching up towards their ear. They're going all over the place and I'm getting exhausted just watching them. But we have some amazing, amazing guys here and this program is actually fully funded by what they can actually fundraise to put back into the program. So um, it's actually pretty interesting. They have about a $250,000 goal that they need to reach. They are planning for next year so they are going to start everything uh, now so they can make sure that they get as much as they need for the following year. They have an auction and a dinner happening next Thursday and uh, that's what we're here for because we want to make sure you guys come out. Tickets are just $75 and you can support this amazing team that we have here. The guy in the yellow that is Russell the Rustler. Um, we made friends earlier because he almost um, ran into me. We have Everett right over there in the silver. He is wrestling the young man in the uh, red shorts. Red shorts is actually from Bakersfield too. We have one person that's actually uh, the person that went out to the NCAA tournament out in uh, Madison Square Garden. That is Coleman, who is turning into a pretzel down there as well. He has a got milk shirt or got water, excuse me, got water shirt on down there. And we have the head coach with us this morning, so I know I tried to point people out. Probably didn't do that good of a job because everyone kind of looks the same with their tights and their, their tops on, but hey, I did my best. So you had five people that went out to the uh, NCAA tournament. But let's talk about Coleman right here because you said he was your highest scorer. Yeah, he scored the most points at the NCAA championships. Well, how many points is that? Five and a half, I think, is what he scored. Okay. Bravo to him. Yeah. So let's talk about how much you guys need to raise and why you need to raise it. So I am so impressed with how many people that you have here this morning. I am uh, just in awe right now. And they all seem to love what they're doing. Now, you mentioned before we went on camera that Bakersfield is actually a really big supporter of wrestling. Yeah, this is a huge wrestling town. And, um, you know, they've been supporting us for the past six years, raising $250,000 plus. And this fundraiser next week that we have, we want to raise about $100,000 uh, to support these, uh, these guys and give opportunities for them to wrestle. And you know, we got eight local kids from uh, the area on our team. So just to show you the talent that's in this town with wrestling in high school um, is huge. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we have ten guys from the Valley, so it's, it's, a, it's a great wrestling community, uh, both to support and to provide talent. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I got a little startled by that one. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. I was going to try to talk to one of the guys, but I probably should give them a heads up before I try because they are maneuvering themselves all over the place. Um, um, hey, so how you doing? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. You, are you tired? No. No? no okay. Really. You're making me tired just looking at you. What about you? I'm all right. We, all right? we do this every day. Okay. So um, are you excited for the fundraiser next week? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to to get our program like some the the credit it deserves and, and hopefully some more some more people to back us and show up for the fans. How long have you been uh, wrestling for? Uh, since sixth grade, so wow. seventh year, seventh wow. eighth year. That's a long time. What about you, sir? I started my freshman year, so this is my fifth year. Okay. Perfect. So next hour, I'm apparently learning some wrestling moves. Yeah. I'm volunteering one of you to do that. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Aaron, going back to you. You guys take it away. Wow. You know, I think what they're doing is that they're going to ah! use this moment right now as their practice. Oh, dude, oh, all, all oh, the way. Oh, all the way. Bring him ow, down. Come on. Ow, ow. Wait, wait. Come on. He's still up. He's still up. <laughs> Keep him in the center ring. Ow. Looks like he's going to break his leg. The, these guys at, at CSUB are really they're good. They're really into it, let me tell you. They're really into it. Aaron, oh, so we're on camera right now. I got him in a headlock. <laughs> Say hello to Coleman. Am I doing a pretty good job? Because I, I think I am, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. Are you just being nice to me? A little bit. A little bit. All right, so say hello to him because he went to the NCAA tournament. Am I correct? You're right. And your brother went there before, too. Yep, he's so an I hear, American. I hear you have two extra chances to beat your brother. That's right, two. 
He was only a one-time All-American. Only a one-time All-American. Are we going to try to make you a two-time All-American? That's right. This is the most interesting interview I've had in a while. <laughs> I never expected to be uh, laying on top of a wrestler interviewing him. This is very nice. I like this. Okay. So let's talk about the team. We could just do it in this position the whole time. <laughs> let's talk about the team. So uh, how many guys are on your team? How do you like them? Are they nice to you? No, we got 22 kids right now, and I like all of them. Except for the BHS kids. Oh, oh. Fighting words there. Okay, I'm going to let you go because you are extremely sweaty. My <laughs> goodness, sir. I heard that you can lose seven pounds in, a, in one little practice. Is that yeah, true? That's true. That's like, very true. I like how I call it a little practice. And look at my shirt from his... From all your sweat. That's your sweat. You're working hard. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. All right, so I'm going to let you show us what you do because you're much better at it than I am. Okay. Um, I think your partner walked away from you. <laughs> He's over there. Head coach, come on over here for a second. All right, so let's talk about the team because Coleman is amazing. Yeah. He's such a sweet guy. we got a lot of people here. I know Bakersfield supports wrestling very much so. And you guys have a big fundraiser coming up. So how can we get the public to come out, show their support for all these guys who are up at five in the morning to come on out here and have a full practice this early? Well, they can call a uh, ticket number 302-4455. Probably going to remember that. 302-4455. To get a ticket to an evening for CSUB Wrestling, which is next Thursday, Cinco de Mayo at 5.30 at the Stockdale Country Club. Um, it's a dinner and an auction. We've got vacation packages, sports packages, jewelry, all kinds of things that they can bid on for the auction. Um, they can sponsor the event as well. We've got sponsorship tables available. But it's all going to a great cause. These guys um, you know, are, are really hard workers, and they are um, you know, guys that come through. We've had 35 guys graduate over the last six years. I mean, wow. the community has basically helped 35 guys to graduate. And uh, a lot of them stay here in town. They coach, they teach, they go into business. Um, and one of the seniors in the room right now is Ian Nickel. He was a uh, petroleum engineer. He's graduating this spring. And he was the Pac-12 Scholar Athlete of the Year. He was a two-time NCAA qualifier. And, um, you know, he's going to be out in the community um, doing good things. This is great. So I want to make it clear to everyone at home, this type of fundraiser, this actual program for uh, CSUB's wrestling team is actually fully funded by everyone that you're looking at right now. They have to raise the funds in order for them to actually have a season, which I think is really interesting. So everyone at home, if you can, come on out. I'm guessing you're going to have a lot of other events throughout the entire year to try to raise more money, too. We do, but this is our main one. And uh, we're going to have a guest speaker there. It's going to be great. We, we always have a, a good program. Uh, and um, a lot of people attending. We usually have around 200 people and a lot of great auction items. It's a great time. All our wrestlers will be there. You'll be able to meet them, and, and uh, it'll be a good program. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, so stick with us. We're going to do more of a preview. I was going to try to get you in another headlock, but it's not working. <laughs> this is my headlock. Aaron, I'm tossing it back to you. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. <laughs> uh, it didn't work. Great form, Kalina. Ah! Are you on the mat God, this is again? Up. Hey, Aaron and Aaron. Yeah, we are on the mat right now. I'm trying to take Coleman down. This is a very awkward and uncomfortable position. I have no clue what I'm doing. But I think you just did that easy on me. You, you were totally you easy. Locked up. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Got to keep it locked up. Wow. I feel like you sweat out a gallon of water today. <laughs> this is crazy. Hey, so guess what? This has never happened before, but, um, and I've had a lot of people on the morning show. I got a Facebook message from a couple girls asking if you're single. I'm engaged. You are engaged. Okay, ladies at home, Coleman is engaged. He's going to be a happily married man. He is off limits. Give him a round of applause for that one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and thank you for drenching my shirt one more time. It has been a pleasure this I morning. Watch that. Yeah, well, luckily it's your uh, head coaches, so oh, yeah. I don't have to take this back. Let's reintroduce you. This is Coleman. He went to the NCAA tournament back in uh, Madison Square Garden. So proud of you. You have two more chances. How excited are you? What are you preparing for this year? Uh, right now, just get myself as high as I can on the podium. So everything we do right now is to get ready for March. And you're going to be at the uh, fundraiser that you guys have next week, right? Yep, next Thursday. I'll be there. 
Perfect. So come show him some support. Why not? We have someone else we're going to talk to you. I'm going to let you go back to your partner. I don't know where he went. But um, side note, he's, he's not available, ladies. Ian, come on down here. Okay, so let's talk about you. How did you get into wrestling? Um, you know, as growing up, I was 78 pounds my freshman year in high school, so... Uh, I wish I was 78 pounds. Yeah, 78 pounds, I, I was about four foot six, so basketball and football weren't really options for me, so I, I decided to get into a sport where they had weight classes so that, you know, I at least wasn't going against someone 200 pounds like in football or something, so I just, I just went with wrestling just on, like, just just on that decision based alone, yeah. And this is your last year. You're a senior, right? So you're yeah. going to graduate in a month or a month and a half. How yeah. sad are you going to be to leave the program? Um, you know, I feel, I feel like even though, yeah, I'm, I'm graduating, I'm leaving the program, uh, Cal State Wrestling will always be part of my life. And, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll always come in the room and wrestle and uh, get, to, get to have fun with these guys and uh, get to be part of this brotherhood. So um, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm necessarily leaving, uh, but just moving into a different part of my wrestling career right now. Oh my gosh, he's so passionate. I love this. I feel like a lot of the guys here are just like you. What did you think when your head coach said, hey, you got to be in the wrestling room at 5 a.m. for a morning show? Uh, you know, nothing new. Let's, let's go in there and wrestle, you know. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah. It's all the same. Just go in the room and wrestle and have some fun. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to let you show us what you're all about. I don't know who you're going to wrestle, but I hope it's not me because I am wiped out. Head coach, let's talk about one more time the fundraiser you have on Thursday. So $75 to get in. It's a dinner and an auction. Most of the guys will be here. And Greg Kerr, I hear, is going to MC it, right? He's the MC. He's done it for six years, and uh, he's going to be the MC. I'm kind of disappointed you didn't ask me, but it's okay. You're forgiven. Take one last look. We ran out of time already. Take one last look at all of the young men that you can help have an amazing season. Again, their goal is $250,000 in order to have a season. This is fully funded by them. Okay, so they need your help. You can go on and uh, help them out next Thursday for their dinner and auction. Aaron and Aaron, tossing it back to you. I should put you in a headlock now. You should have. <laughs> I think Aaron, I just, I, Aaron, I think Kalina wants to just hang out with all these guys and. and I'm sure they don't mind. I, I'm I sure would, they don't mind. I think they're cuddling. 640. <laughs>